Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are starting off potentially a new series. We'll see how it goes. I haven't done a video kind of like this ever, but basically right now I'm calling it the Sephora sales page, bargain or bust. Probably will reword it. This is just all in the works, but basically what I'm going to be doing is going through Sephora's sale page and then telling you if it's a really good bargain or a bust, like don't purchase it. So what really inspired me to do this video is Sephora put up a really nice amount of things just in time for the Sephora VIB sale so I really think that they're trying to get rid of this stuff because they have nice stuff on that sale page and then you get an additional like 20% off it's crazy so if you would like to hear my thoughts on the items on the sale page and whether or not they are worth it then just keep watching First things first, for the past month, every single day, I feel like I've done a really good job of at least having my hair done. Today, I have failed. We are how many weeks into quarantine? My hair just can't do all the product. I needed to just put it up in this ratchet little bun. So <laughs> that's where we're at right now. That's how we're feeling today. But today's video was not planned. I just came up with this idea last night at like midnight and like wrote it down in the middle of the night like a little goblin so that I would remember it when I woke up. If you guys enjoyed this video, I can do other sales pages for other websites as well. But you know, Sephora is always a good topic. I had to look up how to screen record on my phone for this video. <laughs> I don't know how to use technology, so we're learning new things. So I'm gonna scoot over to the side. I don't really know how the dimensions of all of this are going to work, but we'll find out. Hopefully nobody texts me or I don't get any weird notifications. The recording is starting now. Uh, let's find the Sephora app. I don't want to let you guys into my deep little secrets. Okay, if you see it says Karen at the bottom, I'm on my mom's account right now. But pull up right to the sales page. Let's filter it to just makeup to kind of reduce. This is just going to make everything easier to talk about. So Kat Von D, just kidding. KVD Vegan Beauty. This is the first thing that I'm seeing. Liquid lipsticks. Oh my gosh, you guys. So in college, these lipsticks were everything. All of us girls went crazy over these liquid lipsticks. And so every single one of us would like have the same lip color or we would all be wearing just Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. So these are like nostalgia for me and some of my very first colors from this line are colors that I still have because the nostalgia is so real. $8, are they all $8? No, just one color, Noble. It's a petal pink nude. You know, I do like her formula. They are a bit drying, but it's a liquid lipstick. What can you expect? So if you like that color, I would say that's a bargain. $8 is really good, but personally, I'm not really interested in purchasing it. The Carly Bible palette, yeah. This one is out of stock. By the way, I'm sorry, I'm filming this the day before it's posted, so if any of these are out of stock now and they weren't in this video, it might be, but $22 and then you get an extra 20% off of that, that's a really good deal if you manage to steal that. Hmm. The Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, the Moroccan Spice Palette, $29. That actually is a very good deal and this palette is okay. I don't think it's that great. I have the palette and I really feel like they made too many of these because I believe this was limited edition or supposed to be. It was for like a summer collection and they still can't get rid of it. They're putting them in all of these subscription boxes and giveaways and all of that. I really think they made too many and they're really trying to get rid of it. I don't think Fenty has the best eyeshadow formula or at least in this shadow palette. It's not a bust though. If these this is a color story that interests you and you want to support Fenty, this is a bargain. I wouldn't put my money on this palette. KVD stuff, honestly, for the most part, I think it's a bust. I do like my Alchemist palette though, I will admit, and $10, that is a bargain, but I feel like holographic highlighters are out anyways, so I would pass on that. Hmm, anything interesting? I need cotton pads. That might be something I add to my cart. Okay, the Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer, $29. That's actually not a bad deal. I wouldn't get it though. This one doesn't really impress me, honestly, and nobody needs that much highlighter. At this point in the makeup game, we all have so many highlighters. I feel like this is kind of unnecessary. Don't waste your money on it. I don't circle sales pages very often because I find myself spending money on things that I don't need. So I end up wasting money. 
this is one of those things where if I wasn't trying to be smart, I would probably buy this. So no, this is a bust, don't buy it. I'm sure the quality is good or whatever, but you don't need it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one did interest me. This is the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream Eyeshadow Palette. $30, 20% off. I have one of his eyeshadow palettes, the Moonspell, and the formula of that is very good. I haven't tried this, I don't know. Uh, but I think if you like the colors, this is a really good deal. I actually bought this as a present for my cousin. And she's like 13, 14 years old. She loved it. I don't know if I would trust her opinion on quality or not. But that's a really good deal. So if you like the Lunar Beauty formula, that's a bargain. All of these Sephora face palettes, I feel like are busts. I'm sorry. And the colors in here are just not that good. Five dollars though. This has to be garbage. It has to be. Five dollars? Nobody wanted that. Don't buy it. Okay, okay. I mean, this is what I'm excited about. The Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush, as of this current moment, both are still available. I did buy the Citrus when I was in New... Philly. Mm -hmm. I haven't been to New York in years. I don't know why I just said that. Because it's such a good deal. And both of these are really great. And I'm surprised at how long these have been on sale. And I'm surprised that they haven't sold out yet. Because the quality of these palettes are fantastic. $44.50 and then an additional 20% off. I'm thinking of getting a fresh Daria. Because this deal is incredible. So both are really great. If you have a medium skin tone, I recommend Citrus. I don't know why it's not letting me switch colors. There. Citrus is really great for medium skin tones. It's not loading. Oh well. And then Daria is really great for like light to medium skin tones. I don't know, both are great though. That is a really fantastic bargain. Highly recommend that. I just think she's trying to get rid of them because what's working better for her are the smaller size products where it's like half the amount of product, half the price. I think more people are willing to buy that. So I think that's why she's kind of trying to get rid of these really big palettes. I think she's trying to phase out the 28 pans as well, which breaks my heart, but it makes sense. So let's keep going. The Cover FX Power Play Concealer. I wasn't too crazy about this concealer. I would say it's a bust. I mean, $21 is a pretty good deal for it, but I just, there's drugstore concealers that I like better than that. Mm, I'm skipping over things I have like no clue about, just so you know. Ooh, this is tempting to me. The Lily Lashes and Sephora Collection Face Palette. I don't need it, I'm not going to get it. But $20, you'll get what? Like, why am I drawing a blank here? Whatever. <laughs> you get 20% off $20. That's a really pretty palette. I actually heard good things about this palette too. So that might be something you're interested in if you're looking for a nice face palette. You don't have a lot. $20, that's a good deal. I haven't tried it though, so I can't speak on that. But that looks like it could be a bargain, potentially. I'm sorry, but the Fenty Holiday Collection, everything from that collection is a bust. I didn't buy a single thing. I swatched a few things in store, but you don't need this. I don't care if it's $23, $20, whatever the your discount is. That's a waste of money. Her whole ho winter collection totally bombed. Everything is on sale from there. Oh, the Marc Jacobs Sequin Glam Glitter Eyeshadows. These are really good. I think he has more colors as well if we keep scrolling from what I checked. $17, a couple of the colors are selling out, but these are really good. They're I can't remember exactly how they compare to the Hourglass, but they're good. I think the Hourglass is a bit better, but the Sequin Glam Glitter Eyeshadows, those are really, really good too. And this is a decent bargain. I don't think it's the best bargain ever, but these are worth picking up if you like lid toppers. They're very good lid toppers. Here we have some more horrible failed collections from Fenty. I'm sorry, Fenty comes up with some really good hits and then they come out with some like horrible random trash products. Oh my gosh, I'm being so mean today. Excuse me. The Ciate Glitter Flip, these are totally gimmicks and I butt into them. It's like you rub your lips together and glitter pops out. They're gimmicks. This is a bust, even though I bought like four of them, but th don't buy them. You don't need them. You won't use them. Oh, the Lawless. This eyeshadow palette is really good. I think this is definitely a bargain. It's a clean a vegan brand. The colors are a lot of colors that I know you guys would wear. They're very, very neutral, very everyday, very good quality. It's a very pretty palette. I'm happy to see this on sale. This is a really good bargain. So if you like those colors, check that out. Don't buy this. This is a bust even if it's $10. This does not work. The color doesn't show up. It's a glittery mess all over your face. I've already talked enough trash on that, so I'm gonna keep going. Oh my gosh, I'm so mean. Um... Some more horrible Fenty holiday stuff. 
Mm, I don't know about those Dior blushes. Haven't tried them, but they look pretty. Crazy Lashes, Museum of Ice Cream. Oh, these are pretty good. The Marc Jacobs Nudes Sheer Gel Lipsticks. Uh, it could be a little bit more off, I think, to make it more of a bargain. They're still not super cheap, but it's a decent formula. The Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palettes are already sold out. I know that. Don't buy this. This is a bust. I did I didn't purchase this. My mom purchased this because it's very, very attractive. It's just not worth the price point, in my opinion. Like, it's very luxurious, and the packaging is just incredible, and you guys know I love my luxury makeup, but this one was just lackluster. The shadows were just meh. I don't think it's worth it, honestly. The thing is with the sales page is there's a reason all of this is on sale, so I could talk trash about a large majority of these palettes. Like, you might like the colors in this palette. I think the colors are kind of not very pretty. They're kind of ugly. Um, it's a great deal. Too bad the colors don't speak to me. So this I was excited to share with you guys. The La Frost. La Frost. But these are selling out. The color Sugar Sugar is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. And this is definitely a bargain. Even though it's not like the best deal or percentage off. Love it, but it's sold out. So I think these should have... Yeah, a couple more colors of these that are worth it. I mean, it's like 10, 11, 12 bucks off, but I like those. I think those are really good. All oh, this is boring stuff. Okay, we're on to good stuff. Vizzy Art. So two of their shadow palettes are on sale for 64. That's before the percentage off. Bridal Satin, I really enjoy. It is all satin though, and I don't think everybody's going to love these colors for me and for my makeup kit. I like this a lot. I like it for lid colors on brides and for more mature skin, but I don't think this is a need. But if you're like a makeup artist, this is a really good bargain. Ribbons Boheme, I, it's not a bust. You know, the Viseart formula is fantastic, but I personally wouldn't purchase it. Uh, okay, the Soleil Neige from Tom Ford. I love that his collection is on sale, but <laughs> it's going fast. I doubt all of these will be around tomorrow. The color that I have is already sold out. So if you have a deeper complexion though, you might really like this. I actually really like the formula of this. It's like a cream highlighter and bronzer stick and, or highlight and blush, sorry. And it's a really nice formula and this is definitely a bargain if this goes with your skin tone. The Natasha Denona Safari palette. This was a big hit or miss for a lot of people. For me, it was a hit. I really liked the formula of these. I found them to blend it very easily. Great base colors and then you can put a lid topper on top. It allows you to use your lid toppers as well. I think that this for me personally is a bargain, but you have to do your research because some people really didn't like it. I really liked it a lot. I use it, not all the time, but I do use it. So I think that this is a bargain. And then these are gonna be sold out. There's no way, yeah. The Soleil Neige Eye Color Quad, if you got this, congrats to you, but all of these are really good. And right now, only the Soleil Neige, like the smoky ones, are still available, but this one's really good too. This one might be, I can't remember which one was my favorite in my rankings, but this one battled for first place for sure out of this collection for eyeshadow palettes. This is an amazing smoky eye palette and it's really effortless to use. So if this still happens to be available today, check it out. It's really good. This is definitely a bargain. A uh, Tropic Eyeshadow Palette from Natasha Denona, I don't think is a bargain. Um, it's a decent deal. I do like this palette. I like the mattes in here. I brought this on vacation when I went to Hawaii and I really did enjoy it, but it's not an easy palette to work with. That whole bottom row is kind of a bust. It doesn't really work. So if you are tight on a budget, definitely this is a bust, but if you're looking to expand your Natasha Denona collection and you really are interested in the colors in here, it is a bargain. So it just depends on what your needs are. Okay, so take a look at all of these Vizzy Art palettes on sale. These are really, really nice, definitely bargains. These have been going on sale, but a sale on top of a sale is even better. I'm actually interested in these Theory shadow palettes and Cashmere is already sold out, which is the one I want. So I'm not gonna do it because I don't need these, but Amethyst, the purple one, that one's calling my name. I don't know, I don't need these. So I'm going to pass on these, but these are definitely a bargain if you're looking to dive into Viseart shadows. The eyebrow and eyeshadow palette, not a bust. You don't need it though. I use it in my makeup kit and I really do like it. So if you are a makeup artist, that's great. If you're not, you don't need that. 
somebody decided to vacuum. Can you not? Okay, well, we're at the bottom anyways. Oh, the Triss palette, by the way. I don't own this one. <laughs> That's pretty, though. Okay. Do I own this one? I... No, I thought I did. No, this is the only one I don't own of these little nine pans. It's a pretty color story. I'm not gonna buy it though because I don't need it, but it's only $10 off. Yeah, not that great of a bargain. All right, so that's it. We just completely raided the sale section at Sephora. I gave you my thoughts, my unfiltered thoughts, some nicer than others. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it would be something a little bit more different than I normally do. I talk, I get to talk trash, I get to share with you products I love. And like I said, I really hate looking through sale section because it makes me feel like I'm missing out on something and I need to purchase it. Please don't be that way. <laughs> you don't need these items if you don't need them. If you're looking to grow your collection, this is a great time to hop into these products, pick them up, just because it's a sale section that's on even more sale. So that's why this one was more fun. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Do you have any suggestions to improve the series? I most definitely am willing to listen to your constructive criticism. Please be nice. I don't know how to use technology. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I hope you guys take the time to do so and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.